I understand you went to school for the deaf. What did you do in that school for the deaf that was special? Mm. I to for the deaf and the Columbus Orion of a fight. I did a number of books all over the time of them. I did I grow up the more I go further more than them. had to write on tablets. Later in life, she taught me how to talk with my fingers. She was my first teacher. <laughs> but where I was her teacher as a dance master, she was my teacher in talking the deaf language. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine both used a lot of, quote, body language <laughs> in <laughs> dancing and in making love. Imagine that. <laughs> you taught uh, Francis dancing. Could you explain how you taught her to follow different dance steps? How you taught her to follow the rhythm of music? Before I started any dance, I'm a pianist. 
I had her put her hands on the piano. She put her hands on the piano, and I am playing away. Now, if I'm doing a waltz, I would explain to her it's in three-quarter time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If it was a foxtrot, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If it was a tango, it's one, two, ta-da, ta-ta. One, two, ta-da. And I would explain all this to her so that when I put the steps together, it would fit that particular vibration. She would feel that vibration. As we traveled, she, no matter what floor it was, whether it was wooden or whether it was terraza or even concrete. May I tell you one little story before we go on? We were traveling from Louisville, Kentucky at the Brown Hotel. It was during the Derby, which is being held tomorrow. En route, we were go. Our next engagement was at the Nutland Plaza Hotel in Cincinnati, in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah. I am playing my radio in my car. I always play my radio in my car. It gives me company. And I talk to her at the same time. So I'm just playing away. And all of a sudden, this little gal here, she goes, whoop de doop de doop de doop I looked at her and I says, Liqueur. Yeah. I says, where are you getting these vibrations? You're not getting it through the car because the motor is killing the vibrations. Jesus and I thought, it. boy, after all these years, she's fooling me. Feel the vibrate. So I almost hit a culvert, and I stopped the car, and I says, now explain to me, where are you getting these vibrations? She was reading a newspaper. The vibrations of the music through the radio was traveling through her fingertips. Right through her fingertips. The vibrations going right through. And no matter what, here it were, it was right through her fingertips. Now, these are vibrations when you feel them right through your fingertips. Now, you can feel the vibrations through your feet. It's very simple. But to receive them through your fingertips, now, that is Vibration. rather difficult. Here, coming right in from the newspaper. Uh, vibrations from the newspaper and wherever that. Uh, I, I, I felt the same thing if I have a balloon in my hand. And I'm sitting where I know Kessler is playing music. I can feel the vibrations. Sometimes my wife's pocketbook, pocket. Book, big, mm -hmm. hold it, mm -hmm. and both of us can feel vibrations and follow some rhythm. Right. There's many ways to skin a cat or feel the vibrations. These are vibrations. You two started to dance professionally in 1920, and. One time while you two were performing, a mm -hmm. man named Robert Ripley, famous cartoonist who invented mm, Ripley's quote, believe it or not, he saw you two dance and he gave you the title, quote, The Wonder. Dancing, right. He gave uh, us the title of the you Wonder Dance. something That's about it. that and how you got started? Uh, and the title, title of the Wonder Dancers stayed with us all these years, the Wonder Dancers. She is really the Wonder Dancer. Me, I'm a taskmaster. I'm really a disciplinary. She's the real, really Wonder Dancer because she responds. She works hard. So anytime I explain to her what she must do, she does it. If she doesn't do it one time, I make her do it again and again and again and again. So she knows. Then you travel oh, many, yeah. many places. Night clubs, hotels, uh, theaters, uh, traveled all over. Uh, and you explain some of
of the places that you performed with some of the bands that you have performed with. Could you explain? We danced with practically all the name bands in the... We practiced with all the name bands in the country. Cab Calloway, Ben Burney, Paul Whiteman, Paul Ash, Lawrence Welk. In fact, he had his first major engagement with us at the Edgewater Beach Hotel in Chicago. That's the north of Chicago. We had Wayne King, Ted Weems. We had them all. All the big name bands. But in those days, they were big name bands. Today, you don't have many name bands. Although, some are coming back. And I hope they do because if they do come back, people who really wants to feel the vibrations can feel it so much better because they have a full orchestra, real full. Now, they maybe have two or three combo, they call it. You play a guitar, little drums, and you do a little singing. So it's very small. It's well, different today. Bands now different. compared with before, I know, yeah. It's so much different. Uh, I understand you, you have designed and made your own uh, costumes, right? Could you explain something about that? Well, how, how are you being interested in dressmaking? What must go into making the special dance? Well, I do make time for myself because when I find that stuff come, I made it with my own ideas. One time, I want to make flash down for a minute. Twenty-six thousand sequences. Come on, but I had a man to make. So I decided to make. I do, I do. I thought they were night. Uh, night three or four. When I find them now, when is the when? I was surprised. It took me on a six weeks to finish it. Uh, may I may I go on further about these gowns? The real reason she made her own gown was because the gowns that you buy in the stores or you have a dressmaker make the gowns, they make them too weak. Weak. Yeah. Weak. And the way I used to pick her up and throw her all around my neck and shoulder, I remember one time, remember one time in Cleveland on stage, her one gown got stuck on my full uh, dress no. button, and I ripped her dress completely off. <laughs> and there she was in her little panties. <laughs> Left in her panties! That's right. So that's why, you see, she now, she learned uh, to make my... gowns strong. See? I understand. Make them strong, because strong. you too did a lot of... Yeah. Acrobatical work. Mm -hmm. Acrobatic, yeah. yeah, that reminds me. Mm. At one time, you two became known all over the U.S. as probably the best as does for your dancers. Mm. It requires best. a lot of acrobatics, like what you do. Mm. You will learn his hands. Yeah. I have a abdomen, but when the thing is on, but it's time. Time. Timing. Timing shoes. Wrong time. Kind of. 
friend, but write down that drug. Oh, Fred, Fred, oh, Fred. She would run across the floor, and as she would run, she'd leap, and with one hand, I would pick her up and throw her up in the air. Just from the spin, right up in the air. Just boom, up. Damn, it, damn, bad, damn. Now, I do uh, believe that that has been your book. Your I believe book. you do have that. Yeah, I do. You, yeah, I do believe you have that particular picture. Look. Yeah. Uh, That's right. Uh, no, the acrobatics. Uh. To really see that and understand that particular picture and to see how fast I am spinning, look at the tails, the tails of my full dress suit. They're straight out. <laughs> see my tails? <laughs> that was an action yeah. picture. That is a French Apache French dance. Apache. I understand that you, at one time, you had to train that act where he would uh, stab you, but then you changed it a little bit. Why would that happen? Allow me to explain that. Uh, while we were dancing, the dance proved so real that people were throwing bottles at me in cafes. They were throwing bottles and beer cans and everything in cafes. So to keep from getting hit in the head, I gave her a little 22 revolver with a little case. And instead of stabbing her with my knife, she used to shoot me with this gun. But I made sure there was uh, blanks in the gun and not real bullets, uh, yeah. you know. And then she picked me up and put me on her shoulder and carried me off stage. Uh, you. And at that time, I weighed, so you at that time I weighed 180 pounds, and she used to carry me off stage. Hey, you. you Name the eight pounds, and you carry him on your fold. Marvelous. I understand all of that is in your book. Mm -hmm. The one the dancers, mm, Woods and Burrell. Billy, you wrote that book. I like to know people would like to have a copy of that. I imagine how can they get a copy? There are many stores in Ohio that has the book, but if they would give them the address, I would make sure that my publicity man would my publicity man would send them a book. Sure. We'll give See, you the yes, at that right to mail it to us right. if we yes. pay for it. Thank you. You plan to bring it up to date. I'm writing it now. Some things. I'm rewrite. I'm rewriting it now. I'm on a process of writing more of her life 
In fact, the book carries most of my life. I put her life into it because, after all, she is part of the team. But I am now putting more of her life because our life has changed a lot in the past seven years. Yes. We've been Lots putting on an that. awful lot of shows for handicapped people of all descriptions. Yes, I would like to give some time to talk about that. Uh, mm. You, Francis, born three mass four, weigh one and one quarter pound. Mm. With that, ear drum. Right. Tried, tried to survive, and you succeeded. And then you went through very difficult kinds of dancing. Yeah. <laughs> so you were around marvelous. And then, at one time, I understand you had a heart uh, stroke. But you didn't stop dancing. No. You continued. Can you explain what happened and how you continued? And mountain stuck the eye. I danced. I felt better, but my breath, I got uh, something wrong, but my breath, while dancing, was fine. Over the night, uh, I said, slow down. It was the fire, slow down, God. But still, it bothered me. I forgot the drama. I felt good. To feel lighter, look at another song, the dance. It's damn thing, it bothered me. I thought maybe it was fast and cold. It does the record, God. God, come on, do all this. I'd miss him. The next time, I thought, oh, God, is it? Odd, odd, bad. I was so surprised. I felt so good. I worked hard. But when a thing, it bothered me. When I climbed up the steps, it started with the height of a that damn thing. That bad heart back. God is so easy. So close up, mother. Friend on my own God. Come to our bed. Have a dark heart, God. Examine for seven days to find out what's wrong with my heart. After. Seven days, uh, my time, five maker, that, that, 1938, along with five maker. First, you have uh, that five maker, quote, really uh, mechanical heart, yeah. mechanical um, heart, the pump for yeah, you. Man. Could you, do you have one example here? Uh, I, will, I will try to explain as fast as I can. She developed into what they call a, see, complete heart block. She had to have a first pacemaker in 1968. Allow me to show you the first pacemaker. This is a pacemaker. That pacemaker, that's the one, the first one exactly like that, lasted two years and four months. Four batteries. Five, five batteries in that. Five, five batteries. batteries. One, huh? two, three, four, 
five batteries. That's correct. Her second Drunk. pacemaker, the same size as that, lasted three years and 11 months. Three years and 11, 11 months. months. Left in your heart. Uh, uh, this pacemaker here is one of the newest pacemakers that's embedded right above and her breast. Right. First, Underneath. three years and 11, second one. Same thing. Same thing. Third. This one here is the third pacemaker. Third one. Uh, that one lasted four years, two months, and 12 days. Four years, two months, Man. and 12 well, days. They lasted. Uh, now she has a new pacemaker, which was implanted last two years ago in April 19th. April 19th. Two years ago, April 19th. And it's the size of a pocket wash. Marvelous. This pacemaker here is called a morel. M-I-R-E-L, a Myrel. It's a lithium, L-I-T-H-I-U-M, a lithium pacemaker next to the nuclear type. This pacemaker here should last between 10 to 12 years. Yes. I hope so. That means you already were at four, three, 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 three. You, her fourth you, is still on. You're dancing, still continue to dance, still. We don't stop, that does not stop our <laughs> dancing. Right. You know, this last one, it's rather unusual, but I insisted for the surgeons to implant this fourth pacemaker local. Don't put her to sleep completely. Halfway, a little bit. So they did. They implanted it on April 19th. On April 20th, she went home. And April 21st, she was washing windows. Dad. And that, of course, she understands that she has to lift that arm. So you see, she has to move the arm. Marvelous. If you don't, yes. the skin... And that explains yeah. how you continue to dance. So, marvelous. And I understand that you have brought that message to people. All over. Let them know how a person who has a heart problem need not fear. Get mechanical heart, continue to dance like you. You perform often before groups. So, for example, where? Nursing homes. What do you do? Nursing homes. Oh, but, uh, yes, private, and, and you bring your message. Mm. That we explain to people that especially the senior citizens, as senior, senior citizens, that getting old is only a frame of mind. And Age is only a figure. <laughs> Turn it upside down. And you say to me, why would I say that? Because, Bob, you are looking at now the oldest team in the business. She is 74 years old. Four years old, and you, and you. <laughs> I am Seven. 77. Seven. <laughs> I can't turn 77. around. 77.
<laughs> and seven D four and all oh, together you two have been dancing how long? Fifty seven years. <laughs> Fifty seven years. Beautiful and so yes. from marvelous that is the best <laughs> yes, advertisement yes. <laughs> for science from and following rules of health and exercise and all of that, that's marvelous, too. I'd yeah, like, okay. like to ask you, uh, Francis, because you, too, have become a pioneer, yeah, for uh, real professional dap dancers all over the world, and you become a role model role model, young deaf yes. people. I want to ask you a question. Do you feel there are still opportunities in dance for young deaf people who want to become dancers? She knows the answer, but she always looks at me to see what I'm going to say. Uh. Yes. We want all people to understand and that there is a place in the world for all of us, but we cannot sit down and think about it. We've got to do it. We must do. You must so do it. Do you must what? work. You Practice must work, work uh, at it. Uh, you, uh, you advise young people. What? Uh, I do this uh, deaf young, but I can't do uh, Mozart, but I this. So I do this first, but from a do a young, uh, young, do this from, from my heart, and it's kind of Yes, I see what you mean, but what would you tell them that if they want to become a dancer, what must they have to expect? What? Expect the mind. Then it is easy to learn. Lots of bread right, for hours and hours. It is not fun. I have to work so hard if I want to be a dancer. That's good. That, that, that fits in with what uh, Thomas Edison yes. said. You know, he himself was very hard of hearing. Mm. Famous inventor of many, many things. Electric light. Mm. Person asked him, you, when you're a genius, you find it easy to invent things. Thomas Edison answered, genius is one percent. Inspiration and 99 percent perspiration to work. <laughs> Bread, bread is something, something. You proved that you can do it, and <laughs> we really, it's marvelous, you two doing that. I was wondering, last night you performed here in NCID before many of our young students. Yes. Ooh, you gave some marvelous demonstrations of different dances. The rumba, the tango, the waltz, the samba, the mm, bump, hustle, the tall, 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 and disco. 
or two. Uh, they came and asked for your autograph yeah. and made many questions. And it was marvelous happening here in the TID theater. I wonder if for the people who are watching our TV program, if you two would give a short demonstration, uh, would you please? Oh, but, uh, Why not? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right on the floor now. With our clothes just the way we are. Just clipped on or? Oh, screwed on. I get it. Mm -hmm. Yes. All righty. Just the way we are, Bob. Just for you. Do we have? Do we have any music? Good. Just What's the time? Just for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's marvelous, uh, really, and to think you can't hear one note of music. Mm. You two have won, won many honors and awards. Could you explain a few of them you have received? Yes. Yeah. We won many awards from many notable people all over the country. We even received letters from 
President Ford, from President Jimmy Carter, and many other notable, notable people. But lately, we received one of the highest honors in Ohio. We are the winners of the Governor of Ohio's highest award, Governor James A. Rhodes gave us his award in 1978. Out of 11 million people, we were one of the 20 people that won the award. With us, we had the honor to have Hugh O'Brien from White Earp. He was one of the winners. Margaret Hamilton from the play The Wizard of Oz, The Witch. She, she was with us. And we also had Susan Perkins, Miss America. Now that's on the theatrical side with people like Johnny Paycheck, the golfer, and many, many other men of business who build ships, railroads, and types of business people. Jab along and distinguish the career of that So, feel very honored to have you two come to visit NTID, really. You really are mm, wonder dancers. Francis Woods and Billy Bray. And Francis is really a wonderful role model to future young deaf dancers who want to follow on her footsteps. We congratulate you two on your brilliant career, career in the dance. And we thank you very much for participating in our TV program here at NTID called mm, Famous Deaf American. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure. <laughs>